Okay, we are here again and with, yes, with a beautiful and useful topic. We are here again and we have got, yes, we have got a useful and important topic. We are here again, we are back with, with an important topic. Let me immediately share it. Let me just share it. Yeah, single word. Okay, all right. And welcome again. And hello, everybody. And welcome to our online English acquiring, English acquiring class. Yes, intonation is here. English acquiring, English acquiring. What acquiring? English acquiring. Yes, trip four, the simple present tense. That is the fourth and the last type of fundamental English sentences. The fourth and the last, the simple present tense uh, form of tense verb sentences, tense verb sentences. Of course, we, let's remember, be, do, have again, be. In fact, for example, I am a teacher is the simple present tense of to be. But to be, as the word to be. I am here, you are there. Yes, with to be, these are present, present. At present, I am here, you are there. Okay. But with do and have. For example, I have a laptop. It's also a present tense, simple present tense. I have a laptop. What do you have? Yes, we will study these sentences, and especially with do, of course. Okay, uh, let's know, let's learn the identity of simple present tense. The simple present tense is used to talk about something that always or regularly happens or that is always true. A car is a carriage, a car is a vehicle. This is always true. To be sentence, present tense of to be. A driver drives a car. What is the job of a driver? A driver drives a car. This is always true. This is always happens. What does a pilot do? A pilot flies planes. What does a writer do? A writer writes books. This is always true. So, so this is simple present tense. Of course, these tense verbs have got past and future forms as well. Simple past, simple future. Okay. And simple present form now. Of course, they have got uh, four other forms. Perfect. Past perfect, present perfect, future perfect. And perfect continuous, etc., etc. Let's start with the simple present tense. Yes, as I said, uh, to be sentences, then imperative sentences, and then we studied, for example, simple past, we studied modal sentences, and now it's time to study verb tense sentences. Uh, starting with simple present tense. And this is the last. There isn't. There isn't the fifth type of English sentences, basically. Okay. Now let's start with the third person singular because it is 
more it is more uh, practical and understandable okay so subject uh, singular subject he she or it and then again verb one comes but now with a difference not just verb one but verb one plus either s or es or i e s according to the uh, form of the verb okay then object of course and complement for example let's take the verbs live, wash, and study. Okay, to see how S, E, S, I, E, S come after verb one. For example, Peter, okay, now not just live, but for example, in models, we say Peter can live. Yes, but now, this is not model. In imperative sentence, for example, live in New York. Imperative. Don't live in Cambridge. Live in New York. Okay. But now our subject is simple present tense with singular subjects. Peter lives in London. Is it clear? Peter lives in London. Always. Peter always lives in London. This is true. This is true knowledge about Peter. Peter lives in London. Roman number two. Julia wash. The base form is wash, but it takes ES. Julia washes the dishes at the end of the meeting. Who washes the dishes? Julia washes the dishes at the end of the meeting. Roy studies. Study becomes uh, y drops, goes away, and I, E, S comes. Roy studies English three hours a day. Roy studies English three hours a day. Regularly or always. Yeah, this is true knowledge about Roy. Roy studies English three hours a day. Yes, yeah, this will be this will be like this, of course. There are a lot of uh, verbs in English. We will see the list of them as well. Okay, the simple present tense of to be, to do, to have, and model. Let's uh, try to compare them and try to see the differences between them. Yes, you know this, for example, Peter is from London. To be sentenced, present tense, also present, not past. Yes. For example, past of to be, uh, past of to be is, was, were. Okay, we will learn it. Peter is from London. He is a taxi driver. Peter is a taxi driver. He has got two cars. Present. He or, now we will learn this, he has two cars, also possible, but the, the sentence in parentheses has got past form and future form, but has got, has got, <laughs> has got, has got only present form. We don't use it for past and future messages, meanings. We just use it uh, with present meanings, but the, the sentence in, para, uh, in the parentheses, we will use it for all past, present, and future forms. He has two cars. He can drive. Yes, with model. He can drive a car professionally. Professionally. He can drive a car professionally. There are, to be sentenced as well, there is a strange subject here. There are five people in his family. How many people are there in his family? There are. There are five people in his family. He is married to Julia. He is married to Julia. Julia is Peter's spouse. Or Peter is Julia's spouse. They have got, they have got three children. 
they have got three children or they have three children. Also possible. A hundred percent true. Both of them are a hundred percent true. They have three children. This is the true knowledge about them. Peter lives in London. Peter, this is our topic today. Yes. Peter lives in this video. Peter lives in London. He drives a taxi. Does he drive a Ford or a Toyota? He drives a Ford. He drives a Ford. Does he drive? Yes, we will study them. In the question form, when there is does, the verb turns back its base form. Does he drive a Ford or a Toyota? But in a sentence, he drives. He drives a Ford. Now, a lot of, now, uh, with singular subject, of course, singular subjects, a lot of sentences now, simple present tense sentences. An engineer, you know this, an engineer builds or makes bridges. What does a writer do? What does a writer do? A writer writes, this one. Write is the base form, but a writer writes books. What, who makes programs? A programmer. A programmer makes programs. Who employs workers? And em, a, who employs workers? A boss, an employer, this one. An employer employs workers. What does a singer do? Sing, singer, right, writer. What does a singer do? A singer sings songs, this one, sings. A singer sings songs. What does a designer do? A designer designs. Where is it? Design, design. Yes, a designer designs. Websites, for example, a designer designs kitchens, rooms, okay. Buildings again, designs. A driver drives a car or a bus. Who sails a ship? A captain. Yes, you know this. A cap this is a captain, for example. A captain sails a ship. Who works on a farm? Who works on a farm? A farmer, yeah, a farmer works on a farm. Who works at a hospital? A doctor works at a hospital or a nurse works at a hospital. Who works at a school? A teacher works at a school. Who writes books? A writer writes books or writers, this is the noun, Subject, plural, when the subject is plural, the verb remains verb one, as verb one, as the plain form, base form. Writers write books, but a writer writes books. Okay, dialogue four, Jack needs a taxi. What does Adam need? Adam needs a language school. Who needs a motorbike? Ahmed needs a motorbike. What do you need? I need an online course. I need an online course. Or I need a program. I need a program of learning English of cooking, yes, or cooking, how to cook. I need a cooking program. I need an English learning program. A program of learning English is better. Five, Bill wants. Interesting, yes, and very practical. Bill wants a pizza. Who wants a pizza too? George wants a pizza too. So now attention, subject 
becomes plural. Bill and Joe want a pizza. Okay. Bill wants a pizza. Joe wants a pizza to store as a result. Bill and Joe want a pizza. This is this. The subject is plural here. Bill and Joe want a pizza. Who wants a book? Aisha wants a book. My sister wants a book. Dialogue six. Sinan is a new director. Sinan is a new director. He directs adventure movies or adventure films. Who directs horror movies? John directs horror movies. Seven, David works as an Uber driver in New York. Does he live in New York or Wayne? He lives in Wayne. Who works as a Lyft driver? Jamil works as a Lyft driver. Who works for the FedEx delivery company? Ahmed works for the FedEx delivery company. For, for a company. People work for a company. Eight, Tahsin discusses. Yes, discuss, singular subject. Tahsin discusses new topics in his films. Who discusses human rights in his film? Cemile discusses human rights in his films. Who discusses, yes, freedom, women rights, education, psychological problems, social problems, yes, pollution, the lives of a famous characters, people, figures in his story. Yes, for example, Jakub discusses psychological problems in his films. Nine, Alice. Alice goes to work by underground. She tames the lions. She ever washes them. Alice is a lion tamer in a circus, right? Yes, she is a lion tamer. Lion tamer in a circus. Alice is a lion tamer in a circus, right? Yes, she is. Alice can tame a lion, right? Yes, she can. Alice times lions, right? Yes, she does. Short answer. Or, yes, she tames lions. Tame means train, train. She trains, tames. Dialogue 10, A. Alice doesn't go, negative sentence. Although the subject is singular, when there is doesn't, Again, verb turns to its original base form. Alice doesn't go to work on foot by walking. Alice doesn't go to work by walking. How does she go to work? She goes. She goes to work by the underground, by metro. So, uh, did you notice, please, let's notice that when there is doesn't or when there is does in questions, the verb, the verb is the base form, is the base form, yes, the plain form. How does she go? Alice doesn't go, but in a simple sentence, in a positive sentence, she goes to work by bus. 11, Sinan discusses, discusses new topics in his films. Does he try, try, base form, because there is thus. Does he try new or old styles? He tries now, I-E-S. He tries new styles in his films. Sinan tries a traditional style in his films. Who tries a modern style in his or her films? Yasemin tries 
modern style, a modern style in her films. Who flies a plane? Ekrem flies a plane. Yes. Okay. First, second, and third personal plural subjects. Third person plural means we, you, they. We, you, they. They are plural subjects. I is also considered to be plural, okay? And you, whether one person or more than one, you is also considered to be plural. So, we, you, they, I and you. Yes. They are. They are. Uh, they consider, the English people consider them as plural. They think them as plural. And then verb one comes without a suffix. Without a suffix. Okay. And then, of course, naturally, object and complement. Attention, please. Peter and Julia live in London. They, they live in London. Peter lives in London. Julia lives in London. So Peter and Julia live in London. They live in London. They, they live. Roman number two. Julia and her friends wash the dishes at the end of the meeting. Okay, plural subjects. Julia and her friends wash the dishes at the end of the meeting. Roman number three, Roy and Frank study. Yes, plural subject, English three hours a day. They study English three hours a day. Now, dialogue 13a. We need plural subject. We need a new hobby each. I need a hobby. Again, Yes, uh, just like a plural we, they, I also uh, considered as plural. I need a hobby. You need a hobby. But he needs, singular, he. He needs a hobby. Who else needs a hobby? She needs a hobby. And we need a hobby, I need a hobby, you need a hobby, they need a hobby, but Dawood needs a hobby. David needs a hobby. Dialogue 14a. Julie and her friends discuss her stories. They don't just read the stories, but they discuss. Julie and her friends discuss her stories. Julia is a story writer, okay? Julia is a story writer. She writes stories. She writes children's stories. Okay. Do they just read them or exchange or share ideas? Of course, they don't just read the stories. They exchange ideas. They share ideas. Okay, 15A, I write letters, you send messages. What else do you do? What else do I do? I fix cars, you sell cars. Yes, just like a plural subject, I, you. I design buildings, you design websites. I grow cottons, you raise goats. I solve problems, unfortunately, you generate problems, for example. That's the, that's the difference or that's our difference, a nice expression. Okay. I play, for example, I play football, you watch football. I play football, you watch football games, football matches. That's our difference. That's the difference between you and me. Dialogue 16a. I want a newspaper. Yeah, so simple, so useful. 
I want a newspaper, please. What do you want? What do you want? Or what do you want to do? Yes. I want a toast. Or I want to buy. I want to buy a toast. I want to eat a toast. What do you want? I want three lighters. I want a USB. What do you want? I want a pencil case, etc., etc. So easy, so practical. I want to deliver milk as a part-time job. What do you want? I want to drink fresh juice. Okay, uh, let me read the note and see if it is important or not. Don't associate your wants with your needs. Mm, nice, it, it has got a nice, it has got a nice message in it. Don't associate your wants with your needs. Disassociate your wants from your needs. Okay. Something maybe, uh, maybe your need or may not be your need, but you want to buy that thing. So if something is not your need, if you don't need something, so you shouldn't, you shouldn't buy it. Your each one may not be your need. So don't buy what you want. Oh, let's write it as a motto. Don't buy what you want, but buy what you need. Let me write it immediately as a motto, nice motto. Don't buy what what you want, but but buy what you need. Okay. This must be uh, a balance between our earnings and spendings. Okay. How to spend our money. Okay. Dialogue 17a. We must study. Sorry, sorry. We should study. We should. Sorry, no, should. No, should. We. We study English, yes. This is what we do. We study English. What or which language do you study? Yes, what language also possible? Which language do you study? We study Arabic, French, or we study Finnish, we study German, etc., etc. Now, negative sentence. Let's uh, again pay attention together, please. Don't, doesn't, don't for uh, plural subjects, doesn't for singular subjects. Okay, and verb one comes after doesn't, yes. When there is doesn't or when there is does, uh, the verb is always verb one form. For example, Julia wants a boat. Peter doesn't want. Peter doesn't want a boat. What doesn't Julia want? Julia doesn't want a boat. No, a car. Julia doesn't want. Because Julia wants a boat. Peter doesn't want a boat. What does Julia want? Julia wants a car. What does she want? She wants. She wants. A boat. Yes, this one. Julia wants a boat. Okay. Julia writes stories because she is a story writer. Julia writes stories. Julia doesn't write poems, does she? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't write poems. She writes stories. She writes children stories. 20, a police officer, a police officer doesn't catch honest people. 
doesn't a police officer protect honest people? Yes, of course. He or she protects, protects honest people. A police officer protects honest people. Alice washes the dolls, pigeons, dolls. Doesn't she, yeah, attention please, singular subject, Alice washes the dolls, doesn't she? Yes, she does, we, we say in short, as a short answer, but yes, she washes, washes the dolls. Sinan directs adventure films, doesn't he? Peter and Julia live in London, don't they? Julia's friends discuss the political issues, don't they? Yes, they do, or no, they don't. Okay. Alice doesn't wash the dolphins, does she? Yes, she does, or no, she doesn't, not possible. Sinan doesn't direct detective film, does he? Yes, he does, or no, he doesn't, also possible. But if we make, if we make a positive sentence, we don't use does. Let me ask, it, ask the question again. Sinan doesn't direct detective film, does he? Yes, he directs detective films. Let me answer in a negative way. No, he doesn't direct detective films. Peter and Julia don't live in Paris, do they? No, they don't live in Paris. But if we say yes, yes, they live in Paris. Julia's friends don't discuss the political issues, do they? No, they don't discuss the political issues. They discuss the educational issues or they discuss, Julia, Julia's friends discuss pedagogical issues. Okay, 21A. We don't relax. This is our nature as a human being. We don't relax in a dirty place. Where else? Where else do we relax? We don't relax. Uh, where, uh, where do we relax? We relax in a clean place. Now in the second uh, time, uh, where else do we relax? We relax in sleeping. Where or when? Do we relax? We relax in a li library. Uh, we relax near our mom. We relax in our family. I mean, we feel comfortable in our family. We relax at home. We feel comfortable at home, etc., etc. 21B. A gentle wind relaxes us. Yes. A gentle wind relaxes us. What else relaxes us? A forest view. A forest relaxes us. A good poem relaxes us. A forest view, yes, sleeping relaxes us. Singing, a singing bird relaxes us. A playing child relaxes us. A sleeping child, a sleeping child, verb ing, is also an adjective, a playing child, a sleeping child, a reading child, a book, a good book, a good book relaxes us. Okay, what doesn't relax us? Yes, a noise itself, yeah. A noise doesn't relax us. What else doesn't relax us? A noisy place, a crowded place, a scene of concrete buildings, a dust place, oh, slandering or a lie doesn't relax us. It bothers, annoys us. Pessimism, for example. Pessimism doesn't relax us. All the negative things uh, don't relax us, plural subject. All the negative things don't relax us. Or gloomy places don't relax us. A problem don't relax us, but a solution, 
relaxes us. Now question four, we do thus at the beginning again, and subject before subject, and then word one, because there is thus for the singular subjects. Does Peter drive? Peter is singular. So does Peter drive a car? Yes, he does. Short answer. But in complete answers, we don't use does. Yes, he drives a car. This is very clear, I think. We should, we must screenshot this, uh, this page. Does Peter drive in London? Yes, he does. Or yes, he drives in London. Does Peter write stories? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Why? Stories. Does Julie write stories? Yes, she does. Yes, she writes stories. This is very important. This is the crux of the matter. This is the crux of the matter. This is the most important point of the subject. How do we see? How do we smell? How do we hear? How do we taste? How do we speak? How do we feel? Five perceptions. Yes, these are always true, aren't they? These are always true, aren't they? Yes, they are. For example, it is natural. We see with our eyes. Yes, this is a fact. This is a reality. This is a true knowledge. We see with our eyes. We smell with our nose. How do we see? How do we smell? How do we hear? How do we taste? We taste with our tongue. How do we speak? We speak with our tongue too. Yes. How do we think? How do we think? Yes, we sh you should make uh, simple present and sentences again and again. It is time uh, from this video on, it is time to produce, to make sentences with present tense of action words. How do we think? We think with our brain. How do we feel? We feel with our heart. In fact, physically, we feel with our skin, complexion. Yes, physically. But uh, spiritually, we feel with our heart. Heart is the place of our feelings, but our mind is the place of our thoughts, ideas, opinions, patterns, rules. Okay. How do we look and how do we see? How do we see? How do we understand? Yes. We look with our eyes and we see with the harmony of our ideas, opinions, and feelings, emotions, maybe that kind of answer may be possible. 23a, does Peter sail a boat? No, he doesn't. Or, no, he doesn't sail a boat. Who sails a boat? James does. Attention, please. Who sails a boat? James does. For example, uh, let's remember to be sentence. Who is? Who is a captain? James is. Who can sail? Who can sail a boat? James can. Who has got a boat? Who has got a boat? James has. Now it's time to say who sails a boat, James does. This is this. Or in a complete sentence, positive sentence, James sails a boat. Who sails a boat? James sails a boat. Who rides a motorbike? Harun rides a motorbike or motorcycle. Aaron, yes, Aaron rides a motorbike. 
Who reads a book every day? A bookworm. A bookworm reads a book every day. Who likes reading books? Ahmed likes reading books. Ahmed does. Short answer, 100% true. Who likes reading books? My neighbor does. 100% true. 24A. Do Peter and Julia live in London? Yes, they do. Plural subject or complete answer, long answer. Yes, they live in London. This is this. Do Jim and Carol live in London or in New York? They live in New York. Jim and Carol live in New York. Where do you live? I live in Manchester. I live in Paris, for example. 25. Everybody calls me. Everybody calls me Joe. What does everybody call you? Everybody calls me Adam. What do all people call you? All people call me Adam. Twenty six A. A we a wild and fierce animal attacks people. Does a tamed animal also attack people? No, it doesn't. No, a tamed animal doesn't attack people. No, it doesn't attack people. What does a windrose signify? What does a windrose? This is a windrose. Do you see the windrose here? Okay. What does it signify? Is there a is there a wind outside, for example, a dialogue? A bit among, I'm not between, among, among A, B, C, D, and E. Is there a wind outside? Yes, there is, because look, the wind, the wind rose or wind, wind vane is turning. If it is turning, it signifies, it signifies that there is wind. No, there isn't. Look at that wind rose. Look at that wind rose. Wind vein. It's not turning. Yes, there is. There is a problem with the not turning weather rose. Not turning. Turning. <coughs> this is turning wind rose. But the one on the left is the not turning weather. For example, Sleeping child, running child, but not running child. Look at the child. Which child? The running child. Look at the running child, for example. Yes. I am, for example, I am the speaking person now. You are the listening, listening participants. Okay. D says, yes, there is, I mean, yes, there is wind outside. There is a problem with the not turning where the rose, yes. E, oh, look, it's broken. This one is broken. It is out of order. There is no order in it now, okay? It's broken. Who can fix it? My father can fix it. Okay, for example. Now, yes, let's remember this encouraging, encouraging situation of entering English. What did we say? We said, if you remember, this is the door. This is the door of entering, entering English. Yeah, this is the door of learning English. Or this is the door to, to start learning English. Yes. Let's notice the four sentence types in the following three paragraphs. Yes, in the following, in the following, in the next. And from this page on. Yes, but uh, by the way, let's remember them once more. 
to be sentences, imperative sentences, modal sentences, verb tense sentences, and three categories as be, do, and have together. We should focus on all of them. Okay. Yes, kind of summary. What is it over there? What's it over there? What's it? Let's connect. We connect S with E here. What's it? What is it? What's it over there? What's it over there? So we can talk about a car. How? Like this. Can't we say this sentence? Can't we say? Can't we describe a car like this? It's a new car. Yes. It's a new car. It has got manual shift, manual shift, not automatic, not automatic shift. It has manual shift or it has got manual shift. It hasn't got automatic, automatic shift or gear. It doesn't have automatic gear. Shift up the gear will increase the speed of the car. Shift up. Or gear up. Gear up just enough, but shift up, shift up the gear. Don't shift gear down. So don't shift down or don't gear down. Means don't slow down. Yes. Shift up means speed up. You must use, yes, model. You must use the car carefully, Edward. You must use the car carefully. You mustn't drive it without the driver's license because of the rules. There are two doors in this car. There are two doors in this car or this car has two doors. You can insure it in this town by going to an insurance company, insurance. You can insure it in this town. This is a good type of car. Yes, this is a good type of car. This type of car go up hills easily. Install an apparatus to carry bicycles later, not now. Imperative sentence, install an apparatus to carry bicycles later. Okay. Now about, let's concentrate on a bee. A beautiful, useful, and good, yes, living thing, living insect, in fact. A bee is an insect. <coughs> it has two wings. Yes, can you see, can you recognize the wings of the bee? The wings of the bee, noun of noun. It has two wings and four legs. It can fly. It goes, it moves, it flies from one flower to another flower. Is there a bee or a wasp on the flower? Wasp means wild one. Okay, is there a bee or a wasp on the flower? Or can you see a bee or a wasp on the flower? Of course, we can see a honeybee, not a wasp. We cannot see a wasp on the flower. A bee takes nectar. What does it take? What does it take? It takes nectar from the flowers and it makes honey. What is a cow? What can you say about a cow? Can't you make to be sentences, imperative sentences, modal sentences, and present tense sentence about a cow? Of course it is possible. We can, we can speak about any other beings in our planet, in our world. Yes, like this, for example. First of all, a cow is an animal. It isn't a plant. It is living, yes, it is living, but it is an animal. It has got four legs and two ears, or it has four legs and two ears. It is hungry now, adjective. 
It is hungry now. So please give it grass. Imperative sentence. Please give it grass. Don't give it meat because it eats grass, but it doesn't eat meat. Which animal eats meat? A tiger, a cat eats meat. Okay, a cow eat or it gives us milk and we drink. Present tense, it gives us milk and we drink its milk. It can't fly, but it can swim with its four powerful legs in water. It is a fertile animal. Yeah, fertile animal, productive animal. We can use even its skin to make shoes and leather coats. Is there one calf or two calves near the cow? Is there one calf or two calves near it? Or, attention please, are there two calves or one calf near it? The first subject, if the first subject is singular, is there one cow then or two cows near it? But if we take two cows uh, before, then we use uh, are there. Are there two cows or one cow near it? We must know the value. This is a moral lesson, maybe. We must know the value of it, a cow. We must be caring. We must be loving, caring to it and all the other living beings. So take care of it, please. And don't bother it, please. Don't give harm a cow, please. Treat it well, nice word, treat, treat. Treat it well, treat your friend well. Don't treat me bad, for example. Don't treat me badly, okay. treat somebody. Okay, quiz time. Uh, of course, we will have two more presentations about present tense. Yes, and maybe we will try telling stories in present tense. Okay. Okay, question one. Peter Blank is a taxi driver in London. Does he live in London or in Oxford? Oxford? Oxford. Okay, Peter not A, no, 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 B is wrong. No, C is wrong, this one is true, isn't it? This one is true, isn't it? Peter works, yes, singular subject. Peter doesn't, there is doesn't, attention please. Peter doesn't blank a boat, who wants a boat? Peter doesn't, yes, this one, because there is doesn't. We don't use this one now, okay, D. He's wrong here. Peter doesn't want. 3A, where blank Peter and Julia live? They live in London. So not this one, not this one, not this one, but this one is true. Where do Peter and Julia live? Let's not, let's remember the imperatives again. Let's not blank the tires of the car now. Changing, no. We haven't learned such a thing. That's not. No, B is wrong either. No, this is also wrong. But what about this? Of course, always verb one. In imperatives and models, we always use verb one. So let's not change. Let's not change the tires of the car now. Let's, how about uh, the fifth one, the last one? How blank I go to the stadium? Yes, can. How can I go to the stadium? Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at. Let's read. Let's read our uh, useful paragraphs, both in English and Turkish. Okay, let's think deeply. Let's contemplate. Let's contemplate our body, mind, heart, and soul, or psyche, or spirit. 
question is this what do body mind heart and soul or psyche or spirit want each what do they want each body wants finite mortal and inconstant things transient transient things mind our mind wants to look to perceive to understand to know to remember and to dream what about our heart heart wants to see to understand to love to respect to admire and to believe psyche what about psyche our psyche or our soul our spirit our soul wants to be immortal to live forever and to have freedom okay this is the nature of our soul psyche or soul was spotlessly clean before it was contaminated polluted by the earth body it included all surprisingly universally accepted good qualities our strive and struggle are whether we will remain contaminated limited mortal dependent finite like the world or like the body or we will be aware of our real pure identity nobility or originality the love of someone the love of uh, someone loving the good honesty beauty legality legitimacy validity and truth is the good love is the honest beautiful legal legitimate and true love Okay, yes, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining the meeting. Thank you for having this online English class together. And let me say, see you next time.